if you want to get certified from system.io with 100% accuracy then this video is for you so click the very first link in the description and just open a free account by clicking this link okay and after that after completing all the quizzes you will get a certificate just like that by contacting system.io support so this is a video just for the educational purpose try to complete the course understand the platform and just take the help when needed from this video so if you are just skipping all the quizzes without understanding it all the courses video then getting this certificate actually does not mean anything so the certification so purpose of this certification course is getting well known from system.io so the first step will be click the very first link in the description to get certified by system.io with every right answer you will get in this video then we need to click this button yes i want to get certified and put your email address a valid email address so i will put my own email address here and then i will paste it and click on yes i want to get certified and then uh, enrollment in system.io click here to go to your student dashboard so i'll click it and we'll go into our dashboard and here as you can see this how it looks like okay and if we go to our account as you can see important access so what i'll do as you can see i will click on it and as you in and we will set one a, a password for our uh, login okay so if you already have a account you can just skip that process okay so you can see this how it looks and now we can see we have this certification option so i'll click on open and we'll start the task and complete it to get certified okay so it will give us an introduction and we'll click on mark as complete and the main things start from here then you can just check the video and understand the lesson or you can just click on mark as complete uh, to go to the next part so click on mark as complete and there will be some quizzes uh, in the later part of the video so if you already know this platform you can understand them quite easily so now the question is started so the first question is how we segment our contact list into different group this is the first question under this module called main dashboard and contacts okay so the answer is text okay the, the second answer the second question is about the id so which following url is the correct url it will be the second one the third question is which of the two about the marketplace and in that case one two three is the correct answer for marketplace okay and then as you can see the fourth question is which of the following missing from contact tab okay it will be the fourth one sending email directly to contact forms and the last and final question is email activity filter of your contact okay so it will be the first one identify contact who have not opened or clicked in your emails so then click on submit answer congratulations it is 100 percent so our answer is correct now we can go to the next module click on next and the next module will open as like before we'll click on mark as complete or we can watch those videos to understand the lessons what is all about okay so let's click on mark as complete mark as complete mark as complete and let's click on mark as complete we are only interested about the quiz so it will be the first one which is what is the purpose of a squeeze space in funnel okay so it will be the first one and then another second question is what are the blocks in the context of building pages so it will be the first one as well then the third question what is the difference between a simple block and a master block simple block do not change across all pages when edited while master blocks do and fourth is what is the purpose of what is the purpose of system a b test feature it will be the third one and then the uh, fifth question is what is the typically present to main offer in the detail page and to take it is sales page what is the payment option in order for a customer to be infinite recurring payment and this will be subscription right this will be subscription will go for indefinite what is the purpose of visible available substitute in the email editor to provide personal information to subscriber by their name uh, these things okay so this will be the submit answer and we have it's code 100 percent here as well now let's go to the blocks and same let's click on mark as complete 
mark as complete and we'll answer those quizzes so first quiz of blog is this one so the answer will be the one second is blog post listing element the answer will display the latest post published on the blog okay and the third question is about the categories it organized post into different topics and the fourth is which of the following blog post allows to send messages to the owner and it will be contact page and we'll click on submit answers and we'll click on next and now we come to the automation so i'll click on mark as complete mark as complete and now quiz has been come so first one is which trigger set an automatic action to contact complete the email campaign campaign completed okay the second question which trigger should you want to automatic action when someone clicks on a link email link clicked okay which one allows to speed the path of an action of an work uh, flow which one it is add a decision yes or no fourth one in work workflow what is the purpose of adding a delay after checking if contact has a specific tag it is to wait for one day okay so i'll click on submit answer so i will click on next and we'll go to the products so we'll click on mark as complete uh, we'll click on mark as complete and then we'll click on mark as complete we'll click on mark as complete and then we'll click on mark as complete and then we'll click on mark as complete to go to the quiz so the first quiz of product is this which will be the second one and then another question is this when a creating a coupon what is the purpose of using this number of times the coupon can be used so we set the limit and the next question is automatic post approval to determine when the member can publish post without approval okay then the fourth one is fourth one is order from to enable the delay feature to across with the course it is a drip content which of the following is unnecessary when creating a course in system.io unnecessary okay not necessary okay it is all of the above okay so we don't need uh, any of them it is not it is not unnecessary it is necessary okay so we should give, give important on them every available options available when editing a lecture uh, okay which of the option available we can deactivate the lecture duplicate the lecture remove the lecture all of the above so we'll click on submit so we got 100 here as well now we'll go to the cell step so i'll click on mark as complete will and then the question has come okay the first one will be one which of the following customer through your final order form it is transaction on the subscription or what is the status of the available to filter subscription active pending and complete or active cancelled and complete and click on submit answer we got 100 as well now go to the email campaign we'll click on mark as complete we'll click on mark as complete we'll click on mark as complete and the quiz has been come for the quiz it will be save and test email and the for second one it will be one okay sender it will be one email address for the third how can a contact email campaign system.io it will be contacts can be added manually the fourth is what is the manual newsletter once dispart and the fifth is why does system.io monitor the specific email status of each month to avoid the risk of the category account based on email performance okay so these are the answer so i'll click on submit answer we get 100 click on next and then we will the setting tabs we'll click on mark as complete mark as complete and we have the quizzes again so first one will be profile setting and the second one question is which allow to add a tracking link facebook with a sales funnel setting third one is what is the purpose of affiliate tab in system.io to establish commission percentage and payout condition for affiliate programs fourth one is how can work system where we better collaborate to in system.io by clicking on the workspace member setting tabs creating invitation and providing their email addresses and click on submit answer and click on next congratulations so now what we need to do we need to go to the contact page and we need to give them our email our address and tell them with the subject that i have completed with this email the certification with 100 percent accuracy please provide me my certificate and you will get a custom certificate from system.io so this is how you can easily become a system.io certified in less than 15 minutes so i hope that helps so thank you very much for watching the video